Hi everyone. Bacteriophage based vectors of E. coli offer strong advantages over plasmid vectors since they can load larger fragments of foreign DNA, have stronger promoters to express the cloned genes better, and also due to the fact that the transduction efficiency and success rates are always higher than that of transformation. The phage vectors we shall cover in this video include lambda insertion and replacement vectors and M13 MP series. Lambda bacteriophage infecting E. coli has a complex but well characterized genome of about 49 kbp. Its double stranded genome is packaged in a protein coat which it, the capacity of a complete virus particle infects its host bacterium. Natural lambda genome is never a good cloning vector for two reasons. First, its genome gets packaged only and only if the genome is not larger than 52 kbp, leaving the possibility of a tiny insert size up to only 3 kbp. And secondly, it is devoid of many good unique RE sites required for cloning. So, some powerful cloning vehicles were derived from lambda genome wherein the 15 kbp non-essential portion needed for lysogeny of the far genome was eliminated, enabling the lambda vector to house an insert of at least 18 kbp which is an impressive insert size considering the size of lambda genome. Various unique RE sites were also created in these vectors by either site directed mutagenesis or using a MCS. These vectors were categorized into insertional and replacement vectors of which the latter could load much bigger inserts. Lambda insertional vectors are characterized by removing the non-essential region altogether and joining the remaining two essential portions to form a functional cloning vector. Very importantly, at least a single RE site or better still a MCS is introduced within the vector DNA. The foreign DNA which they can accommodate falls in the range 5 to 12 kbp. Its examples include lambda gt10 and lambda gt11 which can take up an insert of 7 to 8 kbp having selectable markers as CI gene and LAGZ dash gene respectively and screening and selection of recombinants using these yield very reliable results. Likewise, Lambda ZAP series is also an insertion vector series accommodating up to 10 kbp and the recombinants can be screened by the famous blue-white screening protocol. Now Lambda replacement vectors, they involve removal of the non-essential portion of the virus in a bigger way. The remaining part becomes even lesser in size than 37 kbp due to which it can no longer get packaged in the phage head. Hence, a stuffer fragment flanked by a pair of identical MCS on both sides is inserted in the vacated space so that even the native vector may be packaged in the phage head for the purpose of storage and transport. Such vectors are used by replacing the stuffer fragment with the target DNA using suitable RE type 2, thus permitting accommodation of larger inserts. Replacement vectors allow massive inserts of size up to 24 kbp as compared to the insertional vectors. Lambda EMBL series comprising the sister vectors Lambda EMBL3 and EMBL4 can accommodate inserts of up to 20 kbp which is a pretty large size. The pair of MCS on both sides of the stuffer fragment containing Eco R1, BAM H1 and SAL1 sites take up the incoming DNA without disturbing the essential region in the vector. Now going to the next system M13 vectors. These Vectors are termed MP series. This is a single standard DNA phage M13. 
Also, F1 and FD, like M13, are filamentous coliphages containing a circular single stranded DNA molecule. M stands for Munich, where it was discovered. M13 infects only F plus E. coli cells. When vectors are developed from these, they have a number of advantages over other vectors like E. coli plasmid vectors or lambda based vectors. M13 phage contains about 6000 nucleotides. The complete genome is sequenced and contains totally 10 closely packed essential genes out of which 3 code for its coat protein. Once the SS phage DNA enters a cell, it is immediately converted into a double stranded replicative form or RF. This RF rapidly multiplies to produce about 100 RF molecules within the host cell, after which the replication of RF becomes asymmetric, now producing only the plus strands or the viral single stranded DNA. This is followed by packaging and secretion of phage particles from the host cell. Unlike lambda, the filamentous coliphages do not have any non-essential genes which could be eliminated to create space and which could be also used to make cloning sites. However, there is a 507 nucleotide intergenic region which is most suitable to insert the foreign DNA. So there MCS are inserted. The importance of M13 based vectors in cloning is its small size, its replicative form which behaves just like a plasmid within the host cell. It can be easily prepared from the culture of phage infected E. coli and most importantly genes cloned within M13 can be obtained as single standard DNA cloned genes. M13 vectors are very very useful in DNA sequencing and in vitro mutagenesis. Now going to the M13 based cloning vectors. In the first one M13 MP1 introduction of LAC Z dash into 507 nucleotide region is done. The LAC Z dash has unique sites for various enzymes uncommon ones but not for the common enzymes like ECOR1 or HINDI3. However, it contains a sequence GGATTC near the start of the selectable marker LAC Z dash. In the MP2, the sequence GGATTC is converted to GAATTC, which is the ECOR1 site by in vitro mutagenesis via a single nucleotide chain. The amino acid sequence of the LAC Z dash. Uh, change a change of amino acid from asparagine to aspartic acid occurs but it did not affect the enzyme activity now in the next useful derivative mp7 insertion of a polylinker or a multiple cloning site with re sites for eco r1 bam h1 sal1 and pst1 into lac z dash gene is done in such a way that the lac z dash gene retains its enzyme functionality. However, insertion of foreign gene into any of these RE sites leads to the desirable insertional inactivation of the LAC Z dash and recombinants are selected by the blue white screening. The next member MP8 is similar to MP7 except that its MCS is changed to the one from PUC8 vector the plasmid vector. Then the MP9 is same as MP8 except that the polylinker is reversed in orientation. The MP8 and MP9 are sister vectors. They are very important in DNA sequencing in which the unknown DNA is read forward using in uh, the one the first vector and backward using the other. At a time, only 400 nucleotides can be sequenced using any M13 MP vector, but using the sister vector pair, double its size can be sequenced since reading the sequence is done from both the sides towards the common point in the middle. 
likewise there are many more sister vector pairs in the mp series like mp10 and 11 are mutually sister vectors mp18 and 19 are another pair of sister vectors all they have different is a different polylinker in each pair that's all about the e coli phage vectors in this video clearly phage vectors are more powerful than plasmid vectors as in the former genome packaged in the phage heads is injected physically into the host cell which is obviously more fruitful please feel free to post your queries suggestions and feedback in the comment box we are very thankful for you for watching and appreciating our work keep learning we shall be back super soon with the wonderful topic artificial chromosomes it's bye till then